Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So today we got yet another Golden release, and this time it is Golden version 2.4 B13. Now, keep in mind that just really two weeks ago, we got 2.4 B5, and obviously I covered that in detail here. So a lot of the things that you might have seen in this video also would translate over to this new video, but there has been a few additional things. And this episode, let's go over each and every one of these together. So the very first one, it says improved FTP self decryption. Again, in the last beta, there was some wording that was in here and it said in the FTP server version 2.1 that there was some additional features and one of them being decrypt. So this toggles server side decryption of self files and it was enabled by default. Now, what I learned and what I also have talked about is, is that it didn't necessarily work in that beta 5. Obviously, over here in B13 or beta 13, it looks like those problems have been sorted. The next thing is there is this improved XML SHN parser. And from what I understand with this, this is really just relating to the different cheats. So the cheat files that you use for your games are typically in those formats. And this looks like it's an improved parser, which is how the application reads through those cheat files in order to present those cheats to you. Next up, we can see that it says fixed cheat navigation after rest mode. So this obviously happened and there was many problems that at least I found that if you used the beta five and you went into rest mode, that it didn't necessarily come back out gracefully. Actually, a lot of the times I had to restart my PlayStation 4 completely coming out of rest mode. And the last one here, which is really the biggest one, is, is that it added search subdirectory and show package path features in the debug settings. Now, if we go into the screenshot right here, then we can see we had the normal package installer and you could change the package source from USB to the hard disk drive. But now there is some options here to search the subdirectories as well as to show the package path once you're installing it. So we will be taking a look at those in depth here. Now, if you want to go ahead and try this out, obviously there's a couple of different options. The first one is to use Chameleon's host. It's just located right here. And again, I'll provide a link to this tweet in the description of my video here. And you can obviously download it from Sistro himself. Now, if you download it, then it will look something like this right here. It will have a change log, a cheat menu, and then the one binary file. Remember, keep in mind that there isn't a bunch of separate binary files for version 5.05 or 6.72 or 9.00. It's just one bin file. And then there is simply a readme. So what I have done is I've went ahead and I have grabbed that and I just uploaded it over to my ESP32-S2 device. Again, I have videos if you want to use a device similar to this for running your own 9.00 exploit and you don't have to mess with the USB drive or USB key. Now, before we get started, I am going to go ahead and make a USB drive that has some PKGs in a couple of different directories. So I have one that's just right here in the root directory. I have another folder called PKGs, and inside of this, there is a folder, and then there is three PKGs in here. And then if we go back to the root and we go into another folder, and we go into number one, we can see we have another PKG there. So we'll be able to examine these features with this USB drive. So let's jump over to the PlayStation 4 and let's take a look at this new release. Okay, so here I am, I'm back on my PlayStation 4 and obviously it hasn't been jailbroken yet. So let's just go ahead and let's do that. So we'll go to our user guide, user guide again. And now I will be selecting B13. Okay, now it's loaded. 
So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into gold hand and we're going to go down to about and then about again and let's scroll down a bit and let's look at the change log. So it does say 2.4 is going to be having a release obviously somewhere in 2023 and added FTP server version 2.1, added multi-cheat support and then added multi-firmware support. So this is what I believe is just being that one bin file covering 5.05, 6.72, and 9.00, which I talked about a little bit earlier. And then it says it added package installer source settings. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at those. So we're going to go back here and we're going to go up to where it says debug settings. By default, it will only show the one package if we do not have any of these options turned on. So we're going to go to Package installer, and right there it is, just the dynamic Resident Evil 4 remake package. And we can come down to search subdirectories. And now it will have all five of them. So there is the dynamic theme, we had Metal Slug, and then a few of the Sly Cooper games. And we could turn on the show package path then come back up here to package installer and now it gives us the full path to where all of those package files are at and so anyway that is a really nice feature to have it absolutely keeps making gold hen even better now again if we come back to the about section right here and we do look at the ftp server version 2.1 Right there was the text, and this is identical to what was in the beta 5 that basically just said we have the decrypt feature that you can turn on, the MTPROC, as well as the MTRW. And then if we scroll down a little bit more, you can see the added multi-cheat support. And a very easy example for that is obviously in Resident Evil 4. So if you go ahead and you update your cheats from the Gold Hen Cheat Manager and you say launch Resident Evil 4, and we'll go ahead and we will suspend that. And now we will go to the Gold Hen Cheat menu. As you can see right up there at the top, there is cheats one of two. I could obviously press the R1 button to go to the next cheat file. And right there is where you could select from these different cheats. Now, keep in mind, you still can't come in here and use cheats from two different cheat files. So as you can see down at the bottom, that option has been removed. But again, if I remove it, now I can go to any of the cheats. Okay, and so that's gonna do it for this one. Another great release from Sistro. Again, if you can donate, that would be excellent and very helpful for the continued development of Gold Hen. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out.